Kelly, your very own Cinders. I am just about to go into Radio Derby, very, very excited. Um, I hear that they've been massive, big supporters of the show. So let's go in, follow me. I don't know if I'll get in security, what do you reckon? Hi, Cinders here. Should I say that? <laughs> let's try, see if Cinders works. I shall go to the wall. We'll have to wait till they answer that. Lovely. So Cinders does get access. Mm. Lovely. Right. Here we are then. Lovely. Look, got the weather forecast for me. Lovely. Like it. Not very nice. Hello. Say hello, Ed. Hello. Lovely. Say hello, Ed. Oh, hello, Ed. Thank you. Good. In the panto spirit. <laughs> he's, no, he's been so lovely. We had a really nice interview, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, that's my show. It was, um, Ed went a bit deep. Even though it was a panto interview, yeah. he asked a few questions that made me go, made my bottom lip tremble a little bit. And I saw that in the interview and then I felt really bad. <laughs> <laughs> But it's fine, we're friends, we're alright. Yeah, we? it's all cool now. Yeah, we're good. So I'm off to my next interview, so I'll say goodbye to Ed. Bye bye. See you later. Thank you so much. Pleasure. We're going to see Ed again because he's going to come down and see Panto and stuff. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Mm. Lovely. See you later, Ed. Bye bye. Bye. So we're off. So this was brilliant. So that was the lovely Radio Derby with Ed. He was fantastic. So you can check that interview out at bbc.co.uk forward slash Derby. because Ram FM are actually sponsoring the show and Phil was lovely um, and it was really cool because he's the first person to actually ask me about Lucy you know contortionist brilliant amazing because um, she's actually going to be I don't know if you know but she's going to be in the show featured every 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 night which is fantastic for her and I think it's a lovely sort of platform for her ability to shine so we're moving on now because I've got another interview with hello Amber Sound with Amber Sound. <laughs> Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm good, good. Hi, Trevor. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Lovely to meet okay. you. Okay, who needs some introductions? Hello, are you alright? Yes, sir, yes, I'm sure. Good, have a seat. I can get out my bit of gubbins and get prepared. So, this is Trevor. We're going to have our next interview. I've had a really busy yeah. morning of interviews, but that's all the interviews done. So now I'm going to go and get changed into my Cinderella frock, and then we're going to do a press call, which basically means we're going to do lots of photos in my Cinderella outfit. Um, I've had a, I think you saw earlier, like hairdresser kind of doing my little updo, so shh, no secrets about that. Really, that's me doing that because I'm really skilled and all of that. <laughs> I'm going to like grow about four inches in about five minutes. It's brilliant. So I'm going to my dressing room, you're not, so stay there. I'll be back soon. Don't come in here. All right, well, whilst you're here, it's very naughty by the way, but I am, at least I'm fully dressed. I'm just putting my shoes on. So this is what we call a worker outfit. This is uh, Cinder's workers. So when I'm in my rags, uh, and my all the scenes with my sisters, all the early scenes in the show, this is what I wear. Um, it's quite comfortable actually, I love the workers. And I have to say, lots of the dads say the workers is quite sexy. Don't ask me what that's about, I've got no idea. Um, I don't know anything about that, me. I'm sweet and innocent Cinderella. Hello, all right, anyone else want to come in? Okay, you can go now, bye.
a really busy day, haven't we? We've done photo shoots, we've done interviews, we've done radio interviews, and the press call. And it's been a really busy day, but very successful, I think. Yes, brilliant. So we'll see you all soon, won't we? See you at Christmas. Bye.